If you're trying to find the perfect beige paint color for your home, the most important thing that you need to do is to identify what is the undertone of this beige paint color. For example, beiges come in different undertones, such as yellow beiges, green beiges, gold beiges, pink beiges, and the list goes on. And all of these undertones will play a key role on how this paint color could look like in your home. And that's why it's so important to get a sample and compare it with the fixed elements and the type of interior decor that you have in your home. So today, I'm gonna to share with you a light, airy, warm and inviting beige paint color that's not too light, it's not too dark, it's a really beautiful neutral paint color called Sharon Williams Natural Tan. I'm gonna show you the undertones of this beautiful paint color and then I'm gonna compare it with some other similar beige paint colors with the same undertone so that you can see what makes this paint color so different. And then towards the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you just a few tips that you should know about Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan. So the first step is to know the undertone of Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan. So watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Odessa Pink, which is considered a pink. Watch this. When you compare Odessa Pink with Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan, you can see the green beige undertones of Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan. So now you know Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan has green beige undertones. However, sometimes you might see just a little bit of a yellow beige undertone with Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan, depending on what you're comparing it to. And that's why it's so important to compare this paint color with what you have in your home. Next, I'm gonna compare it with some other similar paint colors that have green beige undertones so that you can see for yourself what makes natural tan different from the other green beiges out there. Watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Manchester Tan, which is considered a green beige. Watch this. When you compare Manchester Tan with natural tan, you're gonna notice a few things. Natural tan is lighter. It reads less of a green beige as Manchester Tan and as clean as Manchester Tan is darker and it's more pronounced in terms of the green beige undertones and it's muted. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sherwin-Williams Canvas Tan, which is considered a green beige. Watch this. When you compare natural tan with canvas tan, you're gonna notice a couple of things. Natural tan is warmer and darker than canvas tan, and the green beige undertones are more pronounced. As you're gonna notice, canvas tan is lighter and the green beige undertones are not as pronounced. Both of these paint colors are considered clean. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Wool Skein, which is considered a green beige grayish, Watch this. When you compare natural tan with wool skein, you're gonna notice how natural tan is slightly lighter than wool skein and the green beige undertones are not as pronounced. But you're gonna notice in wool skein how it's just a tad bit darker than natural tan, but the green beige undertones are a little bit more pronounced and you can also see just a touch of a gray in Sherwin-Williams Wool Scheme. So here's a quick recap about Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan. The undertones are green beige. Sometimes you might see a little bit of a yellow beige undertone, depending on what you compare it to. It typically leans on the clean side. It's a light, airy, warm, and inviting neutral beige paint color that's not overly green beige. But again, it depends on what you compare it with. And this is why it's so important that you get a paint sample of Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan and compare it with your fixed elements, your flooring, your kitchen cabinets, countertops, and the list goes on. I want you to get this right. I don't want you to make a costly mistake. For those of you that want to save time and get it right, and you don't want to make that costly mistake, highly recommend you go to my website. I can help you with both interior or exterior paint colors. And then you're gonna get a chance to speak to me in a live video call, and I'm gonna to explain to you what will or will not work. And you're gonna have the confidence knowing that it doesn't matter which paint colors you select, you know that it's gonna work because it's gonna pair correctly with your fixed elements, your interior decor, and the type of lighting that you have in your home. And I highly recommend you to check out the reviews. I have over 550 reviews. See what clients have to say. 
I would love to help you. Next, I'm going to share with you just a few tips that you should know about Sharon Williams natural tan. Tip number one, kitchen cabinet paint colors. For those of you that are tired of the off-white trends, you don't want a creamy kitchen cabinet paint color. You don't want grays. You don't want taupes. Instead, you want something warm, not too light, not too dark, and something that's going to be timeless as the trends come and go. Highly recommend trying out Sherwin-Williams Natural Tan. It pairs really well with green kitchen countertops, creams, off-whites, and grays, just to name a few. Tip number two, trim paint colors. Sherwin Williams Natural Tan pairs really well with creamy warm off-whites or even light creams. For example, Sherwin Williams Alabaster is a beautiful creamy off-white that pairs really well with natural tan. Or you could do like a light cream such as Sherwin Williams Dover White or even Sherwin Williams White Flower. These are excellent cream paint colors that pair beautifully with Sherwin Williams natural tan. If you found this video helpful, please put a like. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. And for those of you that want to get the most in-depth paint color reviews, I highly recommend to subscribe to this channel. And for those of you that want to get it right the first time, don't forget to go to my website and find out how I can help you. Until then, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.